Susan still slaps him at the end and yeah. he's genuinely chastened. Yeah. It, he doesn't take it defiantly in any way. No, no, no. He's no, still no. obviously able to be undermined. And I watching it again, there, it, there is a sort of... It's a very different film, obviously, but there is, to me, a sort of parallel to performance. In a, mm. And that character, in that you have a character, Charles, who's very, in a way, certain of his world and what that yeah. is. Yeah. Entering another world and another, again, I guess, another a room and a house, having yeah. a very strong presence. Yeah. And a battleground between two ways of looking at it. Even, yeah. I guess, yeah. the dissolution at the end. Reminded me of it, and it's obviously a, a time when that battle was of great interest between different ways of living. Yes, and I guess even in the context of the the time, I guess the underworld was more established. Yes, more, almost a more um, legitimate and yes, <laughs> a way of life than the sort of new hippie, young, druggy kind of. Yes, people. yes, exactly. So it seems very, I don't know, just did, it, was it something when you were doing performance that it felt similar territory to the servant? It's funny you should mention it because, in fact, they both end with that kind of, um, you know, assault on a person to try and change yeah. them, the domination and so forth. And uh, uh, the the, yeah, they both have this sort of, contrast between these two different cultures mm. um, and obviously in those those days in the 60s that must have been a uh, quite a major theme uh, major themes I mean uh, I'm just trying to think really I, I, I think nowadays when we've still got uh, this political divide the so-called poshos who are you, you derided. So Tony comes from that sort of posho class. But then what's happened in the meantime is that there isn't that sort of Barrett class. There's not the servant, is there, anymore? Mm. So things have changed. And as you say, now they're no longer the respectable gangsters. <laughs> the, the establishment are the rock and roll stars. In those mm. days, they weren't the establishment, but they were the naughty boys. Yeah. They were the Barretts. Uh, so it's just sort of now we we have to see those two films in yeah, in the light of, of of where where we've got to now. Uh, interesting, yeah. Um, um, I probably haven't asked a number of the important um, sort of questions. I suppose um, may I may my question is: Do you feel it seems very rare to? see a, a film where the central character dissolves. It feels like you've been in two great films where that has happened. Mm. And it seems such an unusual thing to, to mm. get to see someone unravel and to have their suppositions and status attacked so directly. And mm. Why do you feel that happen so seldom in films or do you, it, it are, is, is it something that you wish you saw more in scripts you read or is it did that was that something you felt oh well this will be really <clears throat> interesting to watch someone be undermined in this way or do you it, 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 is it what's what's my question there's so many <laughs> Um, qualifying cause in, in this, but it seems so interesting to watch a descent of that kind. Yeah. And do you do you feel that you wish there were more things like that? It's very dramatic, obviously. Mm. Um, so I'm surprised that uh, you know we can't think of many examples, and that I have been in two mm. very good ones. Whether that's because. I was fortunate enough to be connected with subjects that mm. that uh, uh, were about those two people and cast in them. I don't know. Um, Maybe it's something of the time, because Persona, again, there's something about the film that reminds me of Persona and I guess seeing, you see in 
both performance and the servant, someone who seems to have a very strong idea of themselves and a strong yeah, a strong set of linguistic mm. ticks and yeah. um, and the, and how completely they're stripped away. Yeah, maybe there's something of that time where people were very interested in something that seemingly felt unshakable. You know, yeah. I guess with the revolutions that happened in the 60s, maybe that was... Yeah. But that's a very, that's very interesting comment about the, the way that the external and apparently very secure mm. can be swept away like that. That's a, that's a very interesting comment. Okay. Well, thank you very much for doing this interview. And, and thank you, film. Richard. It's so, I really think it's one of the greatest films ever. It's brilliant. It's an amazing film. Such a privilege to be in it.